I'm going to show you how to make a turkey breast using the air fryer. It's really easy to do using our rotisserie setting and all of the pieces come with the air fryer when you buy it. I went ahead and already bought a turkey breast from my local grocery store. It's just three pounds and it's a butterball turkey breast roast. Some of them do come already seasoned. I've seen there's a Cajun one and just like a regular poultry seasoned one, but mine is plain. I'm just going to be seasoning it with some olive oil and using the garlic and herb rub, which has like sage and basil and rosemary, a lot of the, you know, like normal Thanksgiving seasonings in it. But this is great for when you want to have like a Thanksgiving meal for dinner, but you don't want to make a whole big turkey. I don't mind making sides, which I've actually already gone ahead and made some deviled eggs because it's the best to have with turkey, I think. I have had a video for those, so make sure you check that out. As always, links for all the items I'm going to be using today are going to be in the description below. And if you like the video, give it a like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss any more future videos. Let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and get the turkey breast open and then I'm going to show you how to put the olive oil and the seasoning on. The turkey comes in a netting because it is boneless, so there's just tur two turkey breasts in there and the netting helps keep them together. I recommend before you put it on your spit and do your seasoning to just slowly loosen the netting from around the turkey so it doesn't embed itself as it's cooking. It helps with the removal at the very end. Before you put the olive oil and seasoning on, I recommend putting on the spit and the forks first. So I've already put one of the forks on. And so like I said, it does have a netting and the ends are really long. So I recommend rolling it up, find a hole, pushing it all the way through. Try to go straight. And on the other end, collecting all that extra netting, and then sliding that fork on. Once you get it on, you can just go back and loosen the other side screw. I'm gonna actually move mine down just a little bit so it's more center on the spit stick. And now you're ready to season. First, we're gonna put on the olive oil and then we're gonna add the seasoning. You just wanna drizzle your olive oil on, whoops, or pour it, drizzle. And then just keep turning it, get the whole thing covered. And now you're gonna add your seasoning of choice. I'm just patting the seasoning on to make sure it sticks. Our garlic and herb rub is one of my favorite seasonings for different types of poultries, chickens, turkey. Do you have a favorite seasoning that you like to put on your chicken and turkey? Let me know. I'm always looking for new ideas. Let me know in the comments. Now we're ready to put it in the air fryer. Sometimes when I'm using the rotisserie, I'll just pick it up and put it in with my hands. But since this one is covered in oil and seasoning, I'm going to be using the retrieval tool. So you're just going to hook it on both edges and then slowly put it in your machine. You're going to put it into the left side first and then hook it on the right. You're going to close your door and for this we're going to be selecting rotisserie. So we'll turn to rotisserie and we're going to change it to 55 minutes. Start. Once the 55 minutes are up, I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature. The packaging for the turkey breast recommends it to be at least 170 degrees. So I'll give it a check. If it's ready to go, we'll pull it out and serve it up. And if it's not, we'll put it back in for a few more minutes. Our 55 minutes are up, so I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature on the turkey. It says it's 188, so I'm gonna call it good. With the retrieval tool, look on both sides, lift up, over to the right, and out it comes. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the spit before I take the netting off of it. I'm gonna use my microwave grippers. Unscrew one end. And now to slide it off the spit, I'm gonna be using the larger side of our quick shred just to help push it down. Hold it up and just work it down. <laughs> now to remove the netting, use some scissors and cut down one side of it.
Now I'm going to use the other fork from the Crick Shred to use as the guide to cut it up. And if you want thicker slices, just go over two spots and cut on down. I like my turkey thin. Now you're ready to have a nice turkey dinner. You can add in, I'm gonna add in some deviled eggs tonight and twice baked potatoes, but you can add whatever your favorite sides are. All right guys, I'll talk to you next time.